Hey guys, it's Mike coming back with another PC update video. This time I got something for Hank, Johnny, and Barney. Uh, hope everybody's doing well, getting ready for baseball season. I'm getting ready for my draft coming up here this weekend. And just wanted to show these. Um, first one I'm going to show you is a gift from Sean. Sean Tiford was kind enough to... And that, uh, send me a couple Barney Pelty pictures from Spalding's official baseball guide from the see this one is from 1909 he, these are pages cut out of the book that, that's Barney up at the top number in the number one spot pitching and he sent a second one on the back from 1910 and that's Barney pitching number two. I'm sorry, number four there. So thank you, Sean. I appreciate that. I'll put that in the collection. And I did get another card for the PC. This is a T207 Brownback Pelty. These are a little harder to find. So I took one in the lower grade just because I think P PSA is only graded like 7, 19 of them maybe. And SGC is just graded a handful also. Um, this one's got, I think they call it the anonymous back on it. Um, without a advertiser at the bottom. But uh, almost everyone I've seen has been a broadleaf which they say is pretty hard to find but most of them I've seen of his over the last couple of years have been uh, broadleaf but glad to get one this is probably the last of the obtainable cards for him uh, I think there's like four or five more that I need but uh, a couple of them have never been seen even though they're listed as him being in the checklist and uh, a couple other ones maybe if I get lucky I did find the Helmar stamp, which is very tough to find, so maybe I'll be able to find a couple more. Moving over to Hank. This is a fantastic 1934 Type 1 photo. And someone had this listed as a buy it now for 50 bucks, which is a fantastic price. So jumped on that. Uh, it's from August 25th, 1934. Uh, Mickey Cochran, the player, manager, catcher. Um, I love every, all the details about this photo. Uh, of course, uh, he's congratulating uh, the pitcher, schoolboy, or Linwood Road. And um, it's a really nice photo. Uh, Schoolboy had won his 16th straight game against Washington that day. And he was being congratulated by Mickey. And in the foreground, you see Hank there. And the reason why Hank's probably in the picture is because they're in front of his locker. And if you look at this, you can see Greenberg up there. And I thought it's real neat because an error of these I can only imagine what locker rooms look like today with all the luxuries and stuff. But here's a Detroit Tigers in 1934 who would win the pennant. Um, and look at Greenberg's. It's his second year. I mean, these are just mesh cages with a couple of little hooks there to hang things on in one shelf. And... Uh, there's this, you talk about no frills in the locker room. Uh, Mickey was a fierce competitor. Uh, I love the fact that he's uh, smoking a cigarette. He's just filthy, sweaty, and dirty. Uh, he is, in this look at him, he just looks like a tough guy, I tell you. And uh, Hank in the front, he's very young at this point. In fact, they consider him to be a double specialist on the back of the photo when they release this. But everything about this photo is just cool. I love uh, the fact that Mickey's smoking. The, the cages were so primitive for what baseball players are probably used to, especially today. Uh, a really good pitcher doing 16 wins in a row, which is 
quite amazing. It's a great photo. And then I have one of these postcards with Hank signed. Now, that's a nice 40s autograph. It's dated September 30th, 1947. Now, Hank's played, and it's, if you notice, it's also postmarked Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, Hank played his last year in MLB in, uh, for Pittsburgh in 1947. Uh, he got married in 1946, and uh, him and his wife lived in an apartment in Pittsburgh. And Hank's last game for the Pirates was September 18th, and uh, their season ended on September 28th. Uh, this one's got a beautiful blue ink signature. Best wishes from Hank with a beautiful signature. And if you look, the postmark, as I said, was September 30th. Uh, it says in his the book on Hank that uh, they rented an apartment in Pittsburgh while he played for him that year. And I can imagine that the season ended and, uh, on the 28th. His lease probably expired on the on the 30th and um, these were probably some mail he wanted to get cleaned up before they moved and I would guess they dropped them in the mail chutes and probably were on their way back to New York um, right after they mailed these so pretty cool though that these are mailed two days after the end of the season and the end of Hank's career so that's very cool so that will be sent off to PSA then I got three Johnny items. Uh, I'm working on my 50 years of Johnny Bench from 1968 to 2018. And I'm trying to get as many of the different variations as I can for most of the cards. And I'm trying to get one example for every card made by Topps from 1968 through 2018. Uh, so, so there's a some of the triple threads, I just have maybe one of the numbered variations because there's just so many of them. But this is a tribute from 2016, numbered four out of five. Uh, this one is uh, Rightful Recognition from that year. Just a beautiful card, beautiful design, great autograph. Hadn't seen a 5. Uh, I've got the 25 I've had since 2016. I don't think I ever saw a, a, a version number to 5, but I finally see, uh, had one pop up on eBay. And uh, it cost good money, but I was glad to get it, to put that away. Now, this one I don't think I've shown before. Uh, I mentioned in the last video I had all the variations except for his 1969 blue ink. Uh, this is the 2020 Topps Heritage Red Ink. And don't let the grade bother you because the black borders are probably just as hard to grade today as they were back in, in 71. But this is the Red Ink uh, Real One Autograph, numbered to 71. And it'll be coming out of this PSA holder. I don't care anything about that. But just a beautiful Red Ink version of that card. And my newest pickup, just got this, thanks to, Brian brought this to my attention, and I didn't have a white whale for Bench for 2008, and it's something I kind of forgot, and when he mentioned it, I looked it up, and I didn't have one, so I like to get one at least for every year, and I've got multiple for many of the years, but in 2008, never did get one, but this is a... 2008 Topps Triple Threads, uh, one of the three autograph versions he had. And this is the one of one white whale. With some nice uh, patches, with some dirty jersey, and especially on the right there. So glad to pick that up also. And that will do it. So, uh, don't know about how much more pelty stuff I'll be getting in the near future, but I keep going with Hank and Johnny. And uh, there's some real neat pickups, I thought. So, hope you enjoyed, I'll, and I'll talk to you soon. Lord willing. Bye-bye.